How to answer basic math multiple choice. The time allowed on the math portion of a standardized test is typically so short that there's no room for error. You have to be fast and accurate. Math strategy is very helpful, but nothing beats knowing your stuff. Make sure that you have learned all the important formulas that will be used. If you don't know the formulas, strategy won't help you. How to answer basic math questions, the basics. First, read the problem, but not the answers. Work through the problem first and come up with your own answers. Hopefully, you should find your answer among the choices. If no answer matches the one you got, recheck your math, but this time use a different method. In math, there are different ways to solve a problem. Math Multiple Choice Strategy The two strategies for working with basic math multiple choice are estimation and elimination. Estimation is just as it sounds. Try to estimate an approximate answer first, then look at the choices. Elimination is probably the most powerful strategy for answering multiple choice. Eliminate obviously incorrect answers and narrowing the possible choices. Here are a few basic math examples of how this works. Solve 2 thirds plus 5 twelfths. First, estimate the answer. 2 thirds is more than half, and 5 twelfths is about half, so the answer is going to be very close to 1. Next, eliminate. Choice A is about 1 half and can be eliminated. Choice B is very small, less than 1 half, and can be eliminated. Choice C is close to 1 half and can be eliminated, leaving only choice D, which is just over 1. Work through the solution, find a common denominator, and add. The correct answer is 1 and 1 twelfth, so choice D is correct. Let's look at another example. Solve 4 fifths minus 2 thirds. First, quickly estimate the answer. 4 fifths is very close to 1, and 2 thirds is more than half, so the answer is going to be less than 1 half. Choice A can be eliminated right away because it is 1. Choice C can be eliminated for the same reason. Next, look at the denominators. Since 5 and 3 don't go into 13, choice B can be eliminated as well. That leaves choice D. Checking the answer, the common denominator will be 15. So the answer is 2 fifteenths, and choice D is correct. Thanks for watching! Visit us online at www.test-preparation.ca